Welcome to the Jumper 1.0. I've been hard at work making bases for Alpha 21, and I've got quite a few for you guys, but this is the first one on my list to actually show you. I must admit, I'm quite proud of this one, and I like the way it's looking. It's got a very industrial feel to it, and I think that it looks so dang good. But sometimes looks are not everything, and well, it has to work, of course. So we're gonna give it a test to see if it actually works. Now again, if you want to see a build video for this specific base, there will be a section at the end of this video showing you exactly how I kind of built the same type of base. It's very simple, very straightforward. So I've spawned in some zombies here. We're going to see exactly how they path and see if it actually works. Now I have tested a very similar type of base like this on my live streams and it works pretty flawlessly and I really like the design. This one's a little bit different because it uses the electric fences and dart guns um, for a, a, a better advantage. So here we go. Let's turn the zombies on. Let's see exactly what they do when they path in the space. Uh, make sure they see me. So as you can see, they run up to the point of the ladder itself they get electrocuted when they get to the top they gotta go and get through this first now the nicest thing about this is that you can handle one at a time you can see one is standing there however if i kill that one we'll have to wait till the next one comes but they have a chance of actually falling down we'll just wait for another one to come you can see they struggle a hell of a lot to get up this ladder and that's kind of the idea behind this you can see that one has fallen down this one is also trying to make his way through, but a lot of them actually do fall down. That is pretty bad though, we have to sort that out at some point. They were supposed to be sliding on that, not standing on that. But yes, you can see that the concept's working pretty, pretty well. So another thing that I've also made is a switch for the dart guns. So as they're climbing those ladders, they're getting hit by the dart guns. That's kind of the idea behind the dart guns. So that damages them, giving me an opportunity to actually, actually, uh, hit them when they get to this point. I've added two doors here by the way just for an extra reinforcement if in case they broke through the first one. As you can see some of them are actually dying which is a very good thing. Now there is something else I wanted to show you guys is that the reason why I've added a switch to this base and not trigger plates is because quite often, especially with this type of base, when you've added a trigger plate here, which is what I did in the start, is that they would do damage to those plates. And if they had to break during mid horde night, then I wouldn't be too happy. So I added a switch instead to kind of determine, you know, when I want to use it or not, especially when the demolishers come. So yeah, this is how the base works, guys. But the main thing is, when building a base, is that you want to have, like, the least amount of damage on the base. And that's what we're going to look at here. So, what damage did they do? You can see they did a bit there. Uh, not too much. But, overall, the main supports, especially the back end. You can see I have a ladder that takes me up to the top here. None of them are actually broken or damaged. And, well, it is still a very small test. This is damaged, but obviously when you're in during Horde Night or whatever it is, you can patch that. But yeah, this is still a very early test though, um, but so far it works pretty well. So as to all my bases, I have a special channel on my Discord called Download Bases, and you can download the entire base without even actually building it on my Discord. There'll be a video in the description as well, teaching you how to do that. It's very simple, which shouldn't take you more than five minutes. Uh, and you can just do that, or you can watch me build it, which I'm gonna do that for you now, guys. So yeah.